Anyhow, here's the new Nitro. This is the Nitro Z21 uh, that came out. And uh, this is a uh, beautiful color scheme. Yeah. Mine's black and white, kind of simple, but I like my black and white nitro. Um, but uh, there you go. That's show price for the new Z21. And uh, we're going to go around, check out the rest of the show. I got to go by Will Call and uh, drop off some of the VIP names for the people coming out to see us. So that's what we're doing now. We're gonna go drop off the names for the Tony G VIPs here for this show. And uh, we will uh, turn the camera back on here in a minute when we get to more of the exciting features. But I did come across the new Skeeter. This is the new Skeeter for 2016. Beautiful silver and red. And uh, it's the FX20 it says. And right Yamaha VMAX 250 on it, four stroke, super high output. Uh, nice looking boat, nice looking trailer. Yeah, that's exciting. So here we are, we found uh, we found the nitros, we found the skeeters. Uh oh, here comes the Triton. Right over here, fish fans. Let's check out the Tritons. I'm excited. I know you are. Here it is. This is the 21 TRX Patriot from Triton. Yeah, took my hat off. It's hot. Setting back up the spinner baits, getting them ready. He's kind of displaying them out here. An old, old ambassador reel. Needs to go here. Needs to go here. My, my arm gets to sit on those. And we got our buzz bait. All the Wahoo spinner baits. Wahoo. Put them back out, gives people something to look at while they're hanging out talking to Tony G. All right, here we go. Ah, okay, I'm back. I lost my microphone there. There we go. Well, we're good. I got her going. Thank you, buddy. Uh, okay, next. Uh, this here is a 1950s model Ambassador 5000, and it has the dual brakes. There's a brake on the inside right here, and then there's one on the outside. Now, whenever you have a system like this, what I like to do is I'll tighten this one all the way down, on the inside, and then I'll back it off about a turn to a turn and a half, and forget that one. And then tighten this one all the way down, and we're going to switch reels over to one that actually has a line and a rod, because, there we go. So we're going to tighten the inside down all the way down, back, and back it off about a turn to a turn and a half, and then we're going to tighten up the other side, all the way down until the lure doesn't move, like so. Now this particular bottle is set up for me. There we go. And what you're gonna do then is slowly back this off, real slow, until that bait. You're gonna hold your rod level to the ground, just like this. You have your lure tied on that you're gonna be fishing, and you're going to slowly back that off until the lure falls, and when it hits the ground and the line quits turning on the reel, then it's properly tuned. So, now you've got it tuned, you've got your lure picked out, you've got it tied on your line, and you've got the reel tuned to that bait. So, you should be able to just hit the button, it'll fall down, and when it hits the ground and the spool quits turning, it's set. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're not going to throw it like you would a conventional rod and reel. You're not going to do this technique. You want to hold them differently. And the way I, I show everybody to hold them is you take it, and this little trigger, when you go to buy your bait casting rod, make sure it has the trigger on it. Uh, that's for bait casting and spin cast. So it has a trigger. The ones without the trigger usually have a really big guide on them for spinning rods. Uh, that's a whole another seminar. So, anyhow, you take your trigger, and you're going to bring it all the way down to the base of your finger. All the way down here. Wrap it in, put your fingers on it, bring it around, and you're going to hold it this way with your thumb. Just like that right there. Okay? Then, when you go to cast, you don't put a lot of effort into it at first, because the bait casters are very fast. They cast extremely far because they're a free spool. Remember, the line's not coming off of a stationary spool. The spool's turning into the line. And what we're going to do, we're going to cast over towards the garbage can here with it to show you. We're just going to point where you want it to go. And your thumb rides on the inside of your thumb and right on that line. And that's your basic cast. 
Now, notice I kept the line, the rod, I mean. I kept the rod sideways. Okay. All right, guys, any questions on the bait casting reel? Okay, well, then uh, I think we still got a little bit of time. We still got some time, do Cool. Well, we're going to go ahead and go into the spinnerbait technique uh, and um, seminar. Now, guys, what I did bring here with me is an awesome, super exciting example of the Wahoo spinnerbait. Now, what we got here, we're going to start off with this one here. This is a buzz bait. Now, the buzz bait it has a little propeller on top, and uh, it's got kind of a flat heel head to it. And that's designed to keep it on the surface. This is a topwater bait. We're going to fish this one here.